We have seen in our last video how we merge ratio when we have single term common. In this concept video we will see when we have more than one term common. Then we will find relation and merge the relation. The meaning of merging the relation is nothing but equating the relation by cross multiply or LCM. Now check. When we have A by B is equal to say 3 by 2 and C upon A plus B is equal to 2 by 7. Then we have to simplify the ratio A is to B is to C. In which in the first ratio we have A and B. In the second ratio we have A, B, C. Means we can say we have A and B both are common. Then we will check the relation of A and B. That is nothing but A plus B. So we find A plus B that is relation which is in the second ratio from the first ratio. A plus B, A takes 3, B takes 2 is nothing but 5. We say from the first ratio a plus b is 5, from the second ratio a plus b is 7. So we just cross multiply the values of the common relation. That is 7, 7 from the second and a plus b 5 from the first that is 5, 5. So we can say a is nothing but 21, b is 14 and from here c is 10. So this is our simple relation if we have a by b, c, a plus b means we just need to find relation. Check. If we have a by b is equal to 7 by 4 and c upon a minus b is 2 by 5. Here relation is a minus b. We will find a minus b from here. a minus b is 3. So 3 in the second relationship, a minus b 5 in the first relationship. That is a minus b is 5 by 5, a minus c from the first is 3 by 3. Now we merge and get a simple relation. A is 35, B is 20 and C is 6. I hope it is clear. We just need to find common relationship and merge the ratio. Now check this with few more examples. Now practice the concept in these two ratios. We need to find A is to B is to C is to D in the first and A is to B is to C in the second. Here we have B and B common so first we merge the ratio B and B is common so we can say the, this b is 3, this b is 2. So the second b in the first and the first b 2 in the second, that is 2 by 2. So we can say by merging this, we have a is to b is to c is nothing but 9, b is 6 and c is 8. We have one ratio. Now we have d upon a plus b plus c. Here the relation is a plus b plus c which is 4. Here the relation of a plus b plus c is nothing but 23. So we multiply 4 in this each terms because if we multiply in a one terms we are multiplying in the each term of the ratio and the summation 23 in this term so we will get a is to b is to c is to d a 36 b 24 c 32 and d is nothing but 161 this is our merge ratio of these three given ratios and we'll solve question if required in this, we have A, B, C, A, B, C, all common. In general, if we have all terms all common, then we'll check the summation of numerator and denominator. That is nothing but A plus B plus C. Here the value is 3, 1 plus 2. Here A plus B plus C is nothing but the summation of numerator and denominator and value is 10. Most of the time when we have all variables same, generally we take the summation of numerator and denominator. But with the numerator and denominator condition, the summation of A plus B plus C, summation of A plus B plus C should be same. Then we cross multiply 3 in the second relation, 10 in the first relation and we will get A is to B is to C. C is 20, A alone is 9. Now we have A is 9, A plus B is 10 so we can say B is 1 or we here A B plus C is nothing but 21 and C is 20 so B plus C 21, B is 1. This is our merge ratio or simple ratio. Now you have two questions in front of you. I would say pause the video and solve these question. I hope you have solved the question. In the first question, we have A, B, C, we have A, B, C. If we add numerator and denominator, we will get A plus B plus C, which is nothing but 11 here. Here A plus B plus C is 9. So we have a relation A plus B plus C is 11. 
a plus b plus c is 9. We just cross multiply the values. That is nothing but 11 upon 11 and 9 upon 9. So by this, we will get a is to b is to c. a becomes 22. b, b is nothing but 36. And c, here a plus b plus c is 99. By this a plus b plus c is 99, we can say a plus b plus c is 99, in which a is 22, b is 36. So we can say 22 plus 36 plus c is 99. So c is nothing but 41. So our ratio is 22, 36, 41. Now we need to find a square plus b square, that is nothing but 22 a square plus 36 a square upon 41 a square. By solving this, we will get 1780 upon 1681 and this is our answer of the first question. I hope this one is clear to you. We just need to find a relation and cross multiply relation get the values of a b c a is 22 b is 36 we have a plus c is 63 or a plus b plus c is 99 we have a and b put a and b in any of the equations and get the c so we have a ratio and get the answer. Now for the question number 2 we have almost all the terms are common a b c in every year if we add numerator and denominator we will get minus c plus c cancel out a plus b if we add numerator and denominator we will get again a plus b so the summation of numerator and denominator is same a plus b so we will get the summation of numerator and denominator and cross multiply here the summation is nothing but 9 here the summation is nothing but 7 so we cross multiply 7 we cross multiply 9 so by this we will say a minus c is nothing but 14. From here we will say a minus a plus c is nothing but 45. By adding both we can say 2a is nothing but 59. So a is 59 by 2. By putting a in any of the equation we will say in a first equation 59 by 2 minus c is 14. So C is nothing but 31 by 2. We will get A is 59 by 2. C is 31 by 2. Now we have A and C. So from this denominator B plus C equal to 49 or B minus C equal to 18. We will get the B. Now solve for the B. We will have B minus C as 18 where C is nothing but 31 by 2. So our b is 18 plus 31 by 2. This is nothing but 67 by 2. And we need to find a is to b is to c. a is 59 by 2. b is 67 by 2. And c is 31 by 2. All have denoted 2. So we can cancel out the 2. And our answer is 59 is to 67 is to 31. If we have common. We just find the relation. If all terms are common, we will check the summation of numerator and denominator is same or not. If summation of numerator and denominator is same, then we cross multiply the summation of numerator and denominator and get the respective values. We will get the ratio. I hope this one is clear to you. Now, th these two concepts, the one single term common, the other one more than one term common is just the basic. Now, in upcoming videos, we will check the application part of these two. Means we will solve questions. I'll say if you have any doubt, revise the videos, clear your concept, but after revising the video, you think the doubt is still remains the same. Please ping me either on this YouTube video thread or on Facebook. Fine. I hope this is okay with you. Thank you and happy learning.